Hey everybody, so a lot of you know that I'm working on the uh, GCR or Gateway City Azanthic project and that's been in the Ball Python Morph news lately that it's been proven to be compatible with the MJ line of Azanthic. That's huge for this project because there's more morphs and more combos out there that we can plug into this project right away. So um, I just thought that this would be a good time to refresh uh, the Azanthic Pied project with the Gateway City Reptiles line that I'm doing. And then I also have a big triple recessive reveal that anybody who subscribed to my channel and watched my last video would have seen my egg cutting on this project. So anyway, let's take a look at these. So um, years ago, um, I had Azanthics in my collection. I had the VPI, the TSK, and the Jollop line. And uh, you know, this is going back 10 years or more ago. Uh, and they, they were kind of hard to sell. People really weren't into the Azanthics. Uh, so I decided to sell out of all of them. And um, after shortly after I did that, I started getting people asking me for Azanthics. And uh, I, I just couldn't quite get myself back into the project. I always thought, well, maybe I should just buy a VPI Azanthic male, breed them to some of my multi-codom stuff, get some nice hats and breed them back. And I just could never quite pull the trigger on doing that. So, um, uh, I, but I decided eventually that I wanted to get back into Azanthics and I had to, but I wanted something with a little more power than just a regular Azanthic. So I decided to go with the double recessive Azanthic Pied route. And for choosing my line of Azanthic, um, I decided to go with the GCR line because it, first of all, it was a new line at the time. Um, Jeff had uh, made the Azanthic Pieds by accident basically. And um, I thought it was a really nice line, really excellent colors or lack of color, I guess. And that was the line that I chose to work with. So I've been working that project and breeding it into things over the past couple of years or a few years now. And uh, I'm just starting to produce some different combos now. So we're gonna check out the Xanthic Pied, couple of combos, and then the big reveal at the end. So this is a typical juvenile GCR Azanthic Pied. Let's see if we can get his head to come out here. This guy hatched last year and um, looks really good. You can see excellent black, gray, and white colors. Um, just a really nice example of an Azanthic Pied. And a lot of people ask, well, what do these look like as adults? and I'm about to show you some. This is his father. So he still holds the, the nice grays, blacks, and whites really well. And then I also have a female adult this girl right here too. So this one has gotten a little bit of browns in her. Um, you know, it's pretty common for all lines of Azanthic to not be, you know, completely black, gray, and white. They, they do sometimes get a little bit of browns in there. There are other genes that we can add into the project to reduce that or potentially eliminate it. Um, and it's just a matter of figuring out which ones go best and, uh, and plug those in. So she, this one's got a little bit of a feistiness to her. She's uh, She's been like that ever since she hatched. Um, I got her from Jeff actually uh, at Gateway City Reptiles a couple of years ago, and I'm just starting to breed her right now. So I haven't done too much as far as like adding new uh, codon genes into the project yet, but I have done a couple. I produced a pinstripe pied het azanthic a couple of years ago and started producing pinstripe azanthic pieds. So those, I think, this is one gene that I think having pastel or orange dream or some kind of brightening gene in there will really help a lot. Um, I think the lemon blast or orange dream version of this will be a lot brighter colored, but I think it's, it's a good starting point. And pinstripe pieds tend to be pretty low white, so that's kind of what you get with that. I have produced some high white ones, but, um, most of them are pretty low white. I think the best 
azanthic pie that I've produced so far is this one. This is a pastel yellow belly GCR azanthic pie. So um, yeah, I have a yellow belly pied head azanthic that I bred to a pastel pied head azanthic to produce this and just hit on all of them. This is a female. Um, unfortunately, I was actually kind of hoping to get a male of these or at least a male with yellow belly and azanthic and pied in it, but didn't hit on the last year. So I'm hoping for it again this year. So, but either way, this is just a fantastic looking snake in my opinion anyway. Let me know what you guys think. So this is a female holdback. What you're seeing now is are all of the visual azanthic pieds in my entire collection. I did produce a few more last year, uh, but I sold them all. So um, the ones that I'm showing in this video are all of the visual azanthic pieds that I have. Okay, so now the ones from the egg cutting video from a couple of weeks ago, Hopefully you're only seeing this a couple weeks after the fact. Um, so I bred, a few years ago, I bred an azanthic pied to a pastel clown pied. And I produced one male and two female pastel pieds that were double het for azanthic clown. I bred them together and the first clutch I produced four azanthics and one uh, pastel pied. Uh, so the azanthic pieds, and there's some pastel azanthic pieds in there too. They're het for clown, or possible het for clown, I should say. And then the pastel pied is also possible double het. And as I'm saying, talking about this right now, I'm just realizing I did not bring those out for this video. So I've got some more azanthic pieds. Uh, I think I've got two male azanthic pieds, um, and then a pair of pastel azanthic pieds. I think that's what it is. Um, so those were the first ones that come out of that, the triple recessive project. The second clutch, um, I got, there was a smaller female. I got four eggs, only three of which ended up hatching. And I cut those in the last video and kind of showed in the egg whatever I could of them. And I wasn't 100% sure what I had in there other than one. I knew I hit on one triple, uh, uh, a pastel azanthic clown pied. And I thought in the video I showed um, that I hit on a second one potentially, and I did. So this is a pastel azanthic clown pied. It's got a little paradox spot there too. And then this is the second one. And now this one, I think the, the mark, the coloration along the sides here, I'm thinking that wasn't there when the snake first hatched. I don't know if it's something that came in but um, it might possibly be some stain from the cocoa chips that I'm keeping him on. Um, cocoa chips do have some, some uh, coloration in them and when they get wet, they, uh, they can cause a little bit of staining. So I'll know once the snake sheds again and if that disappears, then I'll know if that was just a stain. Otherwise, it's, it's some coloration that came in after the snake hatched, which would be really unusual. So these are both males. And again, we can add in certain uh, certain other genes to it uh, to hopefully improve the coloration, um, uh, you know, brighten them up. Uh, you know, the sky's the limit with this. I mean, this I'm gonna plug these into so many different projects and get so many triple hats. And I, I've got like clown pie combos I can breed to them. I've got you know, azanthic pieds that can breed to them, um, you know, just regular clowns, you know, you can make, I mean, the, this just opened up a huge project for me. And I really think it's gonna be cool. So those are the azanthic clown pieds and I believe they're both pastels. This one I'm sure is a pastel. This one's got a little bit of a darker head, but I think that's probably a pastel too. Uh, they could be super pastel, but I don't think I'm not sure about that. Okay, so there they are. And there are the other Azanthic Pieds. I hope you guys enjoyed that. 
Um, stay tuned for what I'm going to be producing with this project. I'm really hoping to do a lot of different things, adding a lot of different genes into the Xanthic Pied project. Uh, so the sky's the limit with it. It's an awesome project and I love it. And I know it's very popular amongst uh, a lot of you guys too. So let me know what you think in the comments uh, below. And uh, I guess that's about it. I'll be back again very soon with some more cool stuff to show you that the hatching season is just starting. So I'll have a lot of really neat stuff this year.